tell you about the uh, let me tell you about the ancient alien uh, dude. The show you watch, Ancient Aliens? Well, I watch it sometimes. It's uh, interesting. But he's talking about this fucking bug whip on there. And uh, I wrote that woman. That has come out a long time ago. I was working on a video. And all I'm going to do is open up another can of uh, Bill Brockbreeder. There are people that, uh, that Linda Howe and the Mulan how I know exactly. I've seen the videos. And it's this seal in Antarctica that is uh, is let me let me I'm getting ready to come out swinging about a whole bunch of shit. We're going right back to where we come from. I've taken a nice break uh, from the YouTube thing. But when somebody hides their identity it's for a fucking reason. It is for an absolute reason. And whether whatever you're going to say is so fucked up that the guys that know you are going to fucking turn on you, but not in that guy's case. This is the Navy SEAL in Antarctica that says he took a fucking submarine, he got on a an aircraft carrier, it was an aircraft carrier, or something about a submarine, to the Antarctic so that he could go extract a scientist. If you search that seal Antarctica, you'll see that. The first words out of this fucking guy's mouth to her, where they blacked out his face, was uh, his rank. And he said he was a first lieutenant in the uh, Navy. <laughs> and when confronted with that, she claims that he was just nervous at the cameras. Bullshit. You are sitting in a room with that woman. You're not nervous. And, you know, this isn't the CBS Spotlight Inside Edition studio thing or being live on air. You're sitting right in front of that mature woman. I don't want to say much more about that. You're not nervous. In front of you. you lied. You fucked it up. And it's all bullshit from there. And there's, a, you know, everybody, uh, they all thrive off of this seal thing. If they can put that seal thing on, why, why, why would they send a fucking aircraft carrier to Antarctica with a seal who takes a helicopter to go in and extract a, a scientist with all this alien stuff that he's discovered? Why would they do it? They didn't have anybody else on that carrier qualified to get out of a helicopter and go, hey, come here, you get in. And send the seal? No. But they use that for the ratings. However, he just sounds dumb from the fucking minute he starts opening his mouth till the end of the video. Let's just scroll down. Let's see. Mick said. Let's just scroll down there a little bit. That's why I busted out life. What's that? Claims he went miles underground. And, you know, it's just so stupid that the fight is not worth it when you're dealing with these conspiracy theories. And watching the videos, there's enough guys calling bullshit. And she knows, because I told her I was going to put the blast on her, Linda. She never replied back. But she, the hard part of that, as well as Carrie Cassidy with Bill Brockbreder, is that Linda is in on the whole thing. On the whole thing is just this bullshit to get people to watch. She knows he's a fake. And she set it up, and she doesn't care. And she is the nicest, sweetest looking lady on there. Hi, buddy. Hi, good boy. Hi, good boy. Hi, good boy. I know. I know. I know. And she's a fucking liar. They all are. And it's just to sell the ratings. So they find some fucking hillbilly in a fucking gas station in Tennessee who calls himself Spartan One and some fucking idiot Marine. And they get on there and they start telling this bullshit about aircraft carriers taking them just to get this scientist who's in this alien facility. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, somebody put it up there. I think it's Linda Mulan Howe. Linda Howe, Navy SEAL or Spartan 1. And as soon as that fucking guy opens his mouth, you know, it's bullshit. No officer in the Navy is ever going to goon up that they were a first lieutenant. First lieutenants are in the Marine Corps and the Army. They're not in the fucking Navy. 
no one would say that. First lieutenant is a title in the Navy. Of, uh, and that goes way back to the old British days. He's the first lieutenant. He's the most senior lieutenant on a ship. And they only do that on the ships. We don't have that in the steel tanks where we keep our engines long support. They're getting me worked up. But just tell them, nobody, no officer in SEAL Team has a uh, twang. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. You win the fights you can. I mean, I would ultimately win that, but I would just turn into another Bill Brockbreer. I didn't like Bill Brockbreer for a lot of reasons. We don't send Navy SEALs to Antarctica to extract scientists when anybody could do that. It, was a, it wasn't even a combat op. But they love that, the uh, secrecy of it. And when you listen to this guy, there wasn't nothing. He just got off a helicopter and went in to get the guy, and the guy didn't come out anyhow. But why would you do that? You'd have an aircraft carrier full of chiefs, officers. How hard is it to get out of a helicopter and go, hey, hello, we're here to pick you up? It's not like you're doing it in North Korea or some shit. I don't get it.